Well, here's the back of the Chevy Suburban. And because this is a Chevy, it's been used because it hasn't been broke down and needed to be fixed all its life. It's been used because it works. And because it's been used, sometimes stuff gets a little worn out. Like this back door here. Back when it was a work truck, this back door was probably opened and closed 100 or 200 times a day. But look, it still opens fine and closes fine. But upon further inspection, you'll notice it's got a little slop in it. And now you're thinking, that's no problem. But you'll notice up here, it's got a little slop in it as well. And over here. Now you're still probably thinking, that's no problem. It's a Chevy, that doesn't matter. Well, here's why it kind of does matter. This right here, you'll notice the five of these. Two of them are for the rear defrogger. Which, I think, yeah, you can probably see the rear defrogger. It's a Chevy. It's got, you know, those kind of options on a base model work truck Suburban. has rear window defrogger and rear heat, you know, those good options that you want to have. Anyway, two of those are for the power door locks because, yes, a base Suburban also comes with power door locks. And this one, yes, it is supposed to be green. That one's for the dome light. And it contacts on here, and it pushes this in, and that'll shut off your dome light. Now, when the door flexes out like that, maybe, th this one was doing it, maybe yours is doing it too. When you hit a bump, the door flexes out just enough to trip that out, because it doesn't push it in all the way, it only pushes it in part way. You can see the dome light's off now because I've been holding it down. <clears throat> but it comes out just enough to trip the dome light on. And the dome light will flash when you hit a bump. Or go over some train tracks or something like that. So, rather than uh, spend the time replacing the pins and the hinges, like is what you're probably supposed to do, you can uh, build this up a little bit with, I think you can see in there there's some plastic that I just taped to it and then I'll make it push it down further and then it won't be able to slip out as far because look it needs to come out to there which is almost all the way before the dome light will come on so this really just pushes it down just far enough without the little uh, spacer and with that little spacer it's pushed down plenty far enough your dome light won't come on when you hit a bump 